Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about jealousy for men and the topic for this video is how to shift an unwanted jealousy response or to shift your self-talk more specifically. One of the core challenges that you face with jealousy is having like this ongoing broken record in your head when she's not present there physically. And um, you know, you might be trapped there like obsessing about visions of her with other men. And there are going to be lots of situations that might trigger that. And so when you're trapped into that mode, I want to give you some tools or some techniques to start consciously shifting your self-talk. And this is called reframing. You are going to reframe the way you perceive certain situations. And uh, I'm going to get really specific with you because you have like very specific situations that usually might trigger jealousy in your life. So here are a few examples. For instance, your girlfriend is a real flirt when she goes out. She just bonds with everybody and she's really interested in getting men's attention. You know, that could be a challenge. She doesn't listen to you when you are sharing your problems. From work, for instance, she gets distracted. She would, would rather talk with her girlfriend. So this creates a you know, jealousy feeling inside of you. It might not be jealousy, but it might be a trigger. She's all excited when her ex contacts her. Imagine that she has been married or imagine that she was going out with this guy that she loved and broke up with her and then he's still getting in touch with her every now and then. She gets all excited. That might trigger you. Um, she had many sex partners before. So you know that in her past she was a very active sexual being, very active sexual lover, and it's still something that you feel uneasy, uneasy about. Um, she goes partying with her girlfriends, you know, she has a night out, and you know that of course there, are, there might be interactions with uh, other males during that time. She's open with every, everybody, everyone. She's like really outgoing. This is a little bit like being a real flirt. Uh, you know, you know that her boss likes her, you know that when she goes to work, there is pr probably, possibly some flirtatious attitudes going on. Uh, she dresses very sexy when she goes to the gym. You know, again, a situation that might trigger some jealousy inside of you. So if we start analyzing all these different situations, you know, there are lots of them, lots of potential jealousy triggers. And so what do you do when you're trapped in your self-talk and you go like, oh, she's going to the gym and I can see that, uh, you know, her ex is still attracted to her and they are kind of bonding, he's texting her in the middle of the night, you know, it's like you might feel these this triggers coming to the surface. So the process of reframing means taking the thoughts, writing down the thoughts that you might have right now and then choosing different thoughts. You consciously choose to reframe and think about that situation in a different way. And if you're not used to it, if it's not something that you are doing naturally, then it's something that requires a little bit of training and focus. For instance, I'm going to give you an example, a specific example. She's all excited when her ex contacts her. Um, by the way, all that stuff, all these detail, detailed uh, strategies, you can find them on the ebook that is on, on your program there. So go and check it out because I have, you know, a whole uh, module in there that describes all these tactics in, in detail. So the unwanted jealousy response, self-talk around the situation when her ex contacts her would be, are they still in contact? You know, that might be your, your self-talk. I'm sure she still fantasizes about him. I don't want you to talk to him ever again. You know, that could be a response that you give her where you demand that boundary from her. Uh, he's always finding excuses to call her. It's clear he wants her back. Why is she so fucking friendly with him? So all those are your present jealousy outbreak responses. You might not say these things, but this might be part of your self-talk. It might be part of what you are thinking. So to train your new response, you have to identify a better response, something that doesn't drain you. So your new response could be, I have a past too, and I like it 
when my ex calls me. You might have other women in your field as well from your past who might be interacting with you as well. So focus on that. She already told me that he was a pain to be with. So she might have talked about how much trouble their relationship was, you know, when she was with that ex. Um, she never cheated on me, and I know she never would. Again, this is like a reframing. This is the thought that you practice. She never cheated on me, and I know she never would. Uh, another core idea or self-talk that, that you can focus on is he is a total loser anyway. You know, this is making a fun, making a little bit of fun of him or ridiculing him, putting him down in your self-talk approach. Uh, it's with me, she is now. And uh, for instance, I love the romantic time we had last night. So you recall a positive moment that you had. So again, you know, your self-talk could be if you are in a trigger zone. What, are they still in contact? I'm sure she's fantasizing about him. I don't want you to talk to him ever again. He always finds excuses to call you. Um, it's clear he wants you back. Why, is, why are you so fucking friendly with him? So the, this is the triggered response, and your new response might be, I have a past too, and I like it when my ex calls me. Um, she already told me he was a pain to be with. She never cheated on me, and I know she never would. He is, total, he is a total loser anyway. It's with me, she is now. I love the romantic time we had last night. So which of these self-talks, self-talk conversations do you want to have in your mind? What story do you want to repeat yourself? If you are trapped in jealousy mode, it will be the first set. If you are trapped in freedom mode, creating and cultivating beauty and connection with your lover, with your wife, you are going to start practicing the second one. It takes a little bit of time to reframe these things, but once you start building up power, you realize that there is a certain amount of thoughts and self-thought that you can consciously design. So you start designing your thoughts, your beliefs, the things that you want to focus on consciously. Again, there is more on the, in the ebook. In your program there, go and check it out. I'll see you soon for another tip.